a kid, I always wanted to be a scientist. So I had gone to school for engineering and had done that for a while. And I kind of saw at one point I was going to have to make a decision in my career. I could either go back to school and get my PhD and do more R&D work. I could go and get my business degree um, or I could go to law school. And at the time, it seemed like law school closed the least amount of doors. So that was originally what led me to law school. And after a couple of turns, it, it both uh, at outside counsel firms and in-house, in I became chief IB counsel for J.P. Morgan Chase. And a lot of things that were happening in the credit card space depended very heavily upon technology. So I was able to transition those skills that I had learned in intellectual property into my current role as general counsel of card services. I'm an African-American female with an engineering degree who's a patent attorney at a bank who's now general counsel of, JP, of card services. That's a lot of things to put together. At every stage, you have to explain to people why you're in the room. You have to tell people what credibility and credentials that you bring. Uh, but I've been able to overcome all those obstacles. I love what I do. I love the fact that there's a new challenge around every corner. Uh, it's a really interesting space right now. There's a lot happening at the intersection of law and technology and business, and it's a great place to be. If you have a curious mind, uh, if you're interested in, 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 in business and, and you know, financial instruments that we use every day, it's, it's a great place to be. The advice I have for attorneys who would like to follow in my footsteps is there's no straight line. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and do something that puts you out of your comfort zone in order to get where you're going. A lot of times we think I'm here and I want to go there so I have to follow these number of steps. But each opportunity brings different experiences and each opportunity brings you a chance to grow. It really truly is not where you wind up but what you've learned along the journey. If you're about to take the bar exam, just remember a couple things. It's a job. Get up. Study. Every single day. Have a plan. Work your plan. Plan your work. Don't let yourself have a lot of distractions. Do it once. Do it right. Never do it again. When I first moved here to New York about 14 or 15 years ago, one of the greatest benefits of the MBBA was the social aspect. There were happy hours. There were people to meet. I was new to New York. I didn't know many people. So I became active primarily through the social events that we had. Uh, as I progressed in my career, one of the best benefits of MBBA, I became a board member at a, at a point, uh, was really the peers who I was on the board with, who was on the exec board with. They've just formed a real village for me. Uh, people to bounce things off of, sounding boards, people who when I was thinking about making big moves, I could talk to and get their experiences. When I first decided that general counsel was my goal, the first person, the first general counsel who really sat down with me to mentor me was through an MBBA connection. So whether social or professional, or really as it w went further down along spiritual, I've got a lot of benefits from being in the MBBA.